Sonic Focus makes compressed audio sound better. That is important, and these folks are going to tell us how they do that. The founder of Sonic Focus is Tom Paddock. Tom, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing, sir? Pretty good, Dave. It's a pleasure to have you with us. A lot of iPod docs, docs out there. I think a, a gazillion more being introduced here at CES uh, this particular week. What's different about the, the Bell Canto Ultra Dock? You guys are doing something that is certainly unique. Well, a lot of docs have very good electronics getting better and better all the time. One of the things that you have... Uh, problems with with compressed audio is you don't really have the quality that you had prior to the compression. And while you can take compressed audio through very, very good electronics and good amplifiers and very good speakers, yeah. what you end up hearing is essentially still compressed audio. Right. It still sounds like that. Low bit rate, artifacts, everything exists. In fact, in some cases, exists more uh, perfectly Hmm. with good speakers and good amplifiers. So how do you take care of the compression? Well, you can't really eliminate the effects of compression. Yeah, you're not uncompressing or anything like that, right? Well, you're going to have some missing parts. Uh, you're going to have some holes in the audio. Hmm. So we decided that we would come up with a way quite some time ago in the mid-90s after the artists that we mastered and uh, produced and engineered records for, we decided we would come up with a way of filling that information in with other information and also masking some of the artifacts of the compression. So it was really a two-fold exercise. First, make a higher apparent bit rate. And second, the artifacts that we couldn't fix, we would mask to make the overall audio experience better for the listener. Really, kind of like filling in pixels in a video picture in a sense by, it, by you know, not having those gaps, but you're doing it with audio. But what are you filling those with? Well, just kind like of a, audio putty or something? Just like a, a video scaling uh, and, and an artifact reduction plan, we did something very similar with audio. Sounds like a lot of math involved. A lot of math, <laughs> a lot of scientists. Uh, a lot of uh, engineering and, and mastering techniques, uh, along with some computer science. Yeah. So there's a lot of horsepower, it sounds like, in, in this box that we're talking about. You're really using all of that for audio processing? Over two gigaflops of audio processing in this iPod dock. Jeez. Uh, well, that's certainly different than, I think, any other iPod dock on the market. And you're making everything sound better, no doubt, as a result. Well, we put everything in a very small buffer. And that we then we wave shape in real time. So that buffer uh, requires some smarts, and it also requires some horsepower. Hmm. And do you really think audio files ultimately will embrace things like iPods and, and MP3 players in general? It, it, with this technology, does it bring those true audio files into the fold? Well, the better the music sounds, sure, the more people uh, enjoy it, and the and the more. Uh, utility people have from the music and uh, we think it's the direction that uh, that compressed audio should go now i know that i know that you've worked with the grateful dead for many years as well did that kind of help lead you to to make these kinds of technologies work for us well we started with Wyndham hill initially and worked with them for several months getting a sound using uh, two microphones and two modeling techniques moved uh, into working with grateful dead to help them also generate a, a, a specific sound and uh, that those techniques that we learned in the studio uh, we have applied to the sonic focus algorithms tom it's a pleasure to have you with us i wish we had more time but we can do a follow-up perhaps sometime after ces and see what else is cooking sonicfocus.com for more information we'll link to tom's site and all of our guests here at ces when you visit our website at intotomorrow.com or graveline.com Thanks very much for spending a couple of minutes with us, and continued good luck. Keep making all that math and science work to make things sound better. In the long run, that's what we care about. Thanks, Dave. Our pleasure. Back with more if you should miss any of our three hours, three hours of Into Tomorrow today. Swing by the site at graveline.com.